I don't know, I'm, I'm just, um, I don't know how I feel. Many of you guys know, three months ago my mother died and it shook me in and out completely, it broke me. It's kind of, I'm just kind of going with the flow, I have no idea what I'm doing some, some day, some point or some time and I completely feel incomplete or broke on so many levels. But then I realized one day that no, my mom doesn't want me to see this as a curse. She wants me to go on and to achieve my dreams and goals the, the way I always wanted. I need to get to the point where I always want to be and I'm supposed to do what I am do best at and make her proud. There's this one thing that bothers me a lot. It means I'm so kind of sad at the same time I have no idea what to do with this do this one thing which is my mother's clinic the space where so much of memory and happiness was filled once <laughs> so hot up here in India. So freaking hot. I've never experienced such a climate. It's damn hot. Ever since this morning we've been here, me and my dad, organizing things a little bit, cleaning up, trying to keep it the way my mother used to. And we had a very little amount of food today, so gotta keep up to the evening I need to drink this one I don't know it's ideal for this climate condition but I need energy I remember those days my mother wished for mangoes from this tree and those times the tree gave us a handful of mangoes, a bunch of mangoes. Now that she is, she's no more, this freaking tree is full of mangoes. Nothing's gonna come back, isn't it? Especially time when people, once they're gone, what remains in your mind, memories. You wish you're gonna had a little more with that. God, I, God, I really wish, really wish we had more time. Who's gonna come, who's gonna stay, who's gonna leave? Get no idea. 
it doesn't matter from the very young age or your teenage or your middle age from 30s or 40s or 50s, it doesn't matter. There are always going to be people who's going to come into our life and we got attached to or emotionally connected to. And one day, like it or not, they will leave us. It doesn't matter. Gonna they, they're gonna pass away or they're gonna be leaving for something better. People are gonna leave for sure. And that moment when you find out that the person we loved is not gonna be with us anymore, you gotta find ways to not dive deep into our emotional con connections we had with that person along with the memories aside, we keep it as a memory, then move on and progress towards the future that we have, even though we have no idea what life in store for us, without any bitter, without any sorrow. We have to focus ourselves completely on the present with joyfulness, 100% of devotion and joyfulness and create a better life tomorrow. And that's the huge lesson I learned in the recent past of my life, so much have happened, so much people have left it me, especially my mother, from my mother passed away, I learned that you have to find ways to blend in with the situations that life have installed for us. There is no going back and there's no going, you know, with that, all this. You can't change what it is, what's happened, happened and you got to blend in, you got to find situations with all this and got to progress towards it tomorrow that waits for us, even though there's no guarantee for tomorrow. So much dust on the lens right now. So the all, all the all the work that went here, those cutters, cutting grass and all. I'm gonna have to clean this camera like hell. I, mean, I think it's the first time ever in yeah, this is the first time ever. I took my camera out of my comfort zone after buying this new camera here. Took it out of my comfort zone and shot something like this. It's very dusty and moreover, it's not good for me because of recent lungs diseases that I I had it's not good for me but I have to push it for you guys I need to make sure that this place goes on in her name for the people, those who suffer in pain and disease, I want to cure them somehow because I'm not a doctor, I never wanted to be, I always wanted to be an actor, I always wanted to be a filmmaker, I always wanted to be like doing that stuff like this, so I have no idea about medicine stuff and all that, but but I got a goal, I got a vision right now, along with my feeling passion, along with my dreams, I don't know how it's going to happen, but I promised my mother that I'm gonna keep her legacy on. I will cure people and this hospital will go on even if you're not here.